Hi, this is Lady Nefertiti BK, and today uh, I wanted to do a video um, doing a cross wrap and pin curl because I've been doing that. Um, except for yesterday, I did, uh, I shampoo conditioned my hair yesterday, did a roller set, set under my dryer, and then yesterday wrapped my hair, and now all my curls have fallen out, so it's time for me to wrap it up and usually what I do um, once I've run my errands and I've done everything I have to do and it's the end of the day and you know then I go ahead and I put my hair up because there's really no reason for me to wear it down so what I'm going to do is the cross wrap and the pin curl now the items I'm going to be using is the made meta grip premium roller pins I got these from Sally's so you can see that's how it looks. I got that from Sally's. This is how the hairpins look. I absolutely love these these hairpins, by the way. They're nice and big, and they, you know, they're a little bit bigger on the ends than the usual uh, hairpins. Some people call it bobby pins, but uh, yeah. So that's what I'm going to be using. And uh, my moisturizer. I love this stuff, you guys, is the Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner by Carol's Daughter. Uh, this is the trial size. This was my travel size. And I got this from Target. And I think it was like two something. May have been like, I think $2.99 or something like that. Something like that, yeah, from Target. So I will be using that. And uh, as my sealer, instead of using the oil for sealer, I'm going to be using a serum. You know, the generic soothing, I mean, sm soothing. <laughs> the generic smoothing serum um, compared to Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. And that's going to be my sealer right there. I got this from Sally's a while back. Okay, so. I have a headband on. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. I have a mirror over here uh, to the side so I can see what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to take my glasses off. Uh, last time I said, oh, when I do this, I get the comb caught in my hair. I meant I get the comb caught in my glasses. So um, let me go ahead and... So what I do is I part this straight down. I just part it straight down like so I make sure my hair is detangled with my fingers before I use a comb or a brush or anything because I feel if there's tangles and then you use a comb or brush it just causes more breakage so now I'm going to go through and and it is good to start from the bottom up but I was in the very front so I'm going to do that now and, and I try to be very gentle with my hair, it's worth it to take that extra time to just be gentle with the hair. Okay. Okay, and then like so. And then what I do, I'll take just a dab of this uh, black vanilla leave-in, and I'll do it like so. Just the one spray, put it on my ends, work my way up, this stuff smells so good. Oh, I got in touch with the company as well, and I did request that they make a perfume of this. I think this would be a perfect perfume. What do you guys think? Spray it once. Start from the ends. Work my way up. So that was one spray for each side. So one spray here, one spray here. The cap back on that. I take just a dab of this, just a dab, and I'll show you how, what, I'm, what I'm talking about here. About that much right there. Take it, rub it together, add it to the ends, work my way up. And the reason why I start from the ends, because my ends is drier than any other part of my head. Not that much. Put my fingers together, add it to my hair, work my way up. Now, this is when I do extra. My crown area is even drier than my ends. So I take one spray, 
rub my fingers together, add it to my crown because that's the, the, uh, the next driest part of my hair. There. Okay, I don't feel any more dryness. All right. So this spray is excellent for dryness. I really love it. Okay, so now that I have combed it and I've added my moisturizers, I take my hair, one in one hand, one in the other hand. Let me turn around so you can see what I'm talking about here. Okay. I take one in one hand, one in the other hand, like so, and I cross it like this, just like that, okay? Once I cross it like that, I take my hairpin and put it in the back. And I'm going to turn around so you can see how I did that. So I'll turn around so you can see me do this side. Take the pin, put it like so. Okay, then I take my hair, make sure my cuticles are smoothed down. I take another one, maybe I'll use two, I'm not sure. Then I take it, I do it like so. I just, I don't know if you can okay. see. Okay, uh, camera cut off on me, so I'm gonna continue where I left off. I had told you I had cross wrapped it, I pinned both sides. And so, let me see. I have this pinned and this pinned. Now, I go down the hair like so. And see how I already have like a little slight curl and then I curl it. I curl it going up. And I make sure I grip it good so it doesn't come loose. And then I pin it. And I'm gonna show you how that looks. Okay, hold on. Okay, and this is how that side looks, like that. Okay, and then I do the same thing for this side. Do the same thing here. And I grip it like so. I make sure that that one part curls inward, so it's inward like that. And then I just curl it up like so. And then I make sure it curl right to the back of my head. Then I take my pin, my roller pin. It's called a roller pin on, on the packaging here. I call it a bobby pin, hair pin. Okay, so this is how this side looks. So I'm going to turn around so you can see how both sides look. And then I had a little slight um, setback where some of my hair broke on the sides. This happened a few times before. It seems to always grow back and catch up, you know, so I'm not too worried about it. But I want it flat. So this is what I do. So I put a pin here, and then I put a pin here, just to make sure that's nice and flat. And then I use two scarves. I have um, like um, a thin strip scarf that I put on the side to lay down my sides. Then I have a satin scarf that uh, covers the whole thing. It's satin and it's like a bonnet at the same time and I put it on and I tie it and then I'll have it like this overnight. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it like this for the rest of the day and then tomorrow when I take it down, I will be back and I will take it down with you guys. So you guys will see how it looks once I take this down. So I'll be back tomorrow morning. Bye, Bye. Hi, Lady Nefertiti BK here. It is the next morning, so I'm going to go ahead, take these pins out of my hair, and we're going to see how my hair turned out. We're going to do that together. Let me set my mirror here. I have a mirror over here. Okay, I'm going to need to take my glasses off just in case so it doesn't, um, so the comb doesn't get caught in it. Okay, so... Remember, I put all these pins in my hair. I did a cross wrap pin curl. Okay. Okay. So, I got some, some decent curls. You see how my how my curls turned out there. 
And so what I did was um, I did two big pin curls and I got this and I only did two. I only did two this time because I'm going to be wearing my my headband today. So once I take my pins out like this, let me put them back in here right quick before I forget. So once I take my pins out like that, then I'll add a little bit more moisture, a little bit more of this black vanilla because I love it. I love the way it smells. It's like perfume for the hair, you guys. So I put that on my hair because even though I did moisturize my hair and all that before I uh, um, finished with the hairpin, um, my hair uh, still ends up very, very dry the next morning. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this. And this I like to have all over on the ends and everywhere. But I still just use a dot. And I don't know if you could see that before. Not that much. I like that um, all over. And another good thing about that, that, um, the thin strip scarf, I use that to uh, lay down my edges. So it does that too. Even though I do have some edge control, some sometimes I like to go without the edge control and I'll do that. So I go back and forth. I'll use my edge control sometimes. And then sometimes I just use my scarf to lay down my edges. And then when I'm finished doing that, oh, I didn't show you the back. Okay, let me show how the back looks. Okay, you see how this side looks, how this side looks. Let me turn to the back. And then how the back looks. Okay, so let me put my Christy thing because this is how I'm going to wear my hair today. And I got this headband from Dollar Tree. I think you get, I'm trying to remember, I forget you get like two or three on the, you know, in the pack. And okay, and so that's how that's looking. So that's how I'm going to wear this, how I'm going to wear my hair today. So I got my nice black vanilla perfume, I call it hair perfume, and my hair serum on my hair and um, combed my hair a little bit. I got this comb from Dollar Tree. You could tell I love to shop at Dollar Tree, right? Okay, so, and then what I do, I just use my fingers at this point. I don't comb all the way down to the ends of my hair. I just um, use my finger to do that. And I fluff it because, as you know, my hair is not as thick as some. I wish it was, but it's not. So I deal with my, um, my fine sort of kind of, <laughs> I guess it's just fine hair, right? Okay, so. So that's how my pin curl turned out. And you can see how I have the curl there. Got a little curl there. You see how my hair turned out. And this is how I'm going to wear it today, just like this. So now you guys have seen my cross wrap pin curl from beginning to end. And this is how it turned out. And this is the very next morning. It's like six something in the morning. I just woke up, you guys. So, um, so that's how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a wonderful, blessed day and take care. Bye-bye.